Hi all and welcome back to part three of my let's play of Sea of Stars. We are about to continue where we left off in the last part on a cliffhanger with a boss battle just about to start. So yeah, let's get down to it. Exam mode engaged. Race yourselves. Shuffle weakness, Pisco. Level up. Level up. Pick a bonus stat. Plus one mana points. Three plus magic defense. Eight hit points. Two physical attack. Two plus magic attack. 2 plus physical attack, 3 plus physical defense, 1 mana point. Weird. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Congratulations, Valer and Zale. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. Huh. We did it. In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. Huh? But that knowledge is for the Elder Mystery Park. Come. The villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure.
It is, it is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where is Carl? I don't see him. Many years ago, a letter and sail were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Gran was so happy to get to meet two more before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the solstice before. Valera's Ale. Step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the Solstice Warriors. This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now, share with me as we send these young heroes out across the forbidden cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hooray! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Valer say you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now to the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail. Seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic. And you shall then enter the world as true solstice warriors. May Lianas might protect you. May Solon's life guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. Obtain three tomato clubs. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. Got amulet of storytelling. Got sequent flair. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relics section of the game menu accessible for you with Y for just your experience. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or are looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find. Remember, you keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you well fed and well equipped. Now, whether your adventures take you, you whatever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training, for dire cleansing awaits us. I still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. You weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but... We'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world. Can't go back now, we have to meet the Elder Mist. Forbidden Cavern. Forbidden Cavern. Yeah. 
sure feels easier now. This time we make it through. Adventure's best. Third adventurers agree, this vest is the best. For those who prefer a lighter challenge, clear confirmation for successful timed hits and blocks. So su successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star flare to fly out of the character for a clear as day confirmation that the input was properly timed. Recommended for those preferring stronger feedback for while closing in on the mastery of certain moves.
It's locked. Maybe the key is in the chest just up there. It's out of reach for now. Let's look around. Forbidden Cavern Key. Heart recovers forty HP found. Mushroom soup. Valerian say learned combo skill, mending light. Found one shiny pearl. Restores HP to all allies. Valuable meant to be sold. Found one leeching thorn. Normal attacks heal for 15% of damage done. The device is broken, we can't activate the bridge. 
There seems to be a detour through here, to the left. Worth the shot. Belair, it's a campfire spotter. We should rest a little to heal up while we can. Set up camp. Shame we didn't get to see Garm before leaving. Want me to take the lead? Yeah. I wish you could go back for Garl. Want me to take the lead? Yes. The campfire feels cozy and warm. Rest. Valer? Sounds big. Get ready.
Boss Slug, Defeat Forbidden Cabin Boss, Shimetana. Our first big one. Haha, <laughs> we did it! Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be much further now. Found 60 gold. Found one Adventures Fest. I think this might be a great place to end off the part. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for following along through the cavern and boss fight. I hope you're enjoying yourselves as much as I am. If you are, I would love to hit those like, subscribe buttons and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it's time to say bye bye.